Lizzie, do you want to take the day off? I can take over your shift. Of course not. But if you want to hang out together during vacation, I can line my schedule up with yours so we can take some days off together. I'm just looking to work some overtime. <sighs> okay, I'm just gonna come out and say it. Seth, there's something I want to tell you. Seth, I... I like you. Please be my boyfriend. I'm just gonna keep waving until Seth sees me. I have to tell him what I heard at the noodle shop before he makes his decision. Haha, <laughs> it's the manager. Why are you waving so hard at me? I have good eyesight. I can see you perfectly fine. Oh, manager! Are you the video store owner I met last time? Small world. Sorry, but we're kind of in the middle of something private here. Is it okay if I send Seth to catch up with you later? Um, what do you mean by send him? I think Seth can decide for himself. Ah, uh, my bad. I'm just feeling a little anxious. But we really are having an important conversation here. It's okay, Lizzie. I can answer your question right now. Lizzie, I don't want to be your boyfriend. Wow, that was absolutely brutal. Is this the kind of power that comes with being a straight shooter? Well, why? Am I not nice to you? Did I do something to upset you? You're nice to me, but I don't think you like me at all. You always chat with me, and I never get what you're talking about, or even know how to respond. Every time you visit the training ground to see me, you just sit there looking bored. I don't understand why you keep coming back. That one time you invited me for dinner, the server reached out to give you those noodles that come in the black bowls as soon as you sat down at the counter. But you said you like the ones that come in the white bowls as much as I do. Why would you lie about that? Fine. I've done lots of things that I don't like for you. I try to take an interest in all the things you prefer. Doesn't that show how much I like you? I don't know what you mean by like, but I can tell you aren't happy. That's not how good friendships should work. Lizzie. You're very nice to me, and I believe you're not a bad person, but do you really want to be lovers or friends with me? I think you need to consider what it is that you truly want. It must have been so nice growing up with a silver spoon. You get to lecture people and still sound like you're in the right at the same time. Growing up, you could get whatever you wanted as long as you were honest, right? I'm so sorry for spending so much time around you lately. It won't happen again. Well, it's done. Manager, you said you have something urgent to talk to me about? Mm, it might be pointless to bring this up now, but I ran into Lizzie at the noodle shop the other day. So that's what happened. Um, did you already know about that from the start? Otherwise, why would you be so harsh to Lizzie? I didn't know. Was what I said really that harsh? Honestly, I do feel kind of bad about it. I should appreciate Lizzie for being so nice to me, but it's not because of who I am. It's for some other reason. If this kept up, someone was eventually bound to get hurt. Maybe me, maybe her. I just did what I had to do. Manager, is it right for me to think like that? In hindsight, all she's ever done is be nice to me. Even if it is because of my family background, I'm still the one who benefited from her kindness. I think you did the right thing. As for Lizzie, this might not end up so bad for her either. Well, I just think that friends aren't only people who are good to you, but also people who are being real with each other. 
For example, you said I look stupid playing soccer. I actually much prefer that kind of interaction. I got it. You enjoy getting dissed. That's not what I mean at all. I'm saying that friends should be real with each other. I'd call you out too if you were acting dumb. And no one would say I'm being a bully because of my family background. Hmm. I have a question for you, Seth. In your opinion, what counts as being real with each other? I don't share everything about myself with you either. That doesn't matter at all. Being honest doesn't mean we have to tell each other everything. I'm not interested in knowing what color toothbrush you have or who your childhood crush was or whatever. I'm not a kid anymore, you know? There are surely things about you that I am not aware of, but what's the big deal? I know you genuinely want to be my friend because you like me for me. And that's what counts. You're right. I'm happy that you consider me a friend. Yeah, same here. Chingy always says that real friends are hard to come by, so I need to cherish the ones I have. Ugh. Why does it sound so corny when I say it? Uh, whatever. This whole conversation is too much work. You get what I mean, right? <laughs>